up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new the all new 2022 volvo c40 courtesy of younger volvo cars hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so obviously we're in this one today because this is an all new model from volvo for the 2022 model year it's got dual motors it's got a brilliant design and so essentially in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system cargo space all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so msrp for the c40 will start at fifty nine thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars and again power is sent to the ground through dual electric motors one in the front one in the back 402 horsepower 487 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels this is an all-wheel drive vehicle zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 4.3 seconds with a range coming in at 225 miles as far as the warranty goes of course you get volvo's four-year fifty thousand mile bumper to bumper and powertrain warranties but when it comes to the battery components that is warrantied actually for eight years or 100,000 miles so substantially more so that's definitely very nice and you actually get complimentary maintenance for three years or 36,000 miles as well so a little bit more icing on the cake there for you anyways now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put this acceleration here to the test first and Let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Volvo C40 here up to speed. All right, you guys, since we are at a red light, this is going to be perfect. Here we go. Holy crap. Go. Good grief. <laughs> wow. That was like zero to 60 and like nothing. That was incredible. I love electric cars, man. Ah, zero to 60 feels so much quicker in all the electric cars that I test compared to their internal combustion engine counterparts. The thing is ridiculously quick. I absolutely love it. In a regular car that is not electric, you're gonna get a little bit of spinning if you do that quick of an acceleration. But in this thing, there's none of that. So that was amazing. But anyways, to go along with that is always braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes. As far as that braking feel goes, it is wonderful. You cannot say that about all electric cars out there. I love the braking feel on this thing. I'm not sure what the 60 to zero stopping distance goes, but I would imagine it's in the kind of mid 100. So like 105, 106, I would imagine. That's what it kind of feels like. This thing immediately brings you to a stop. So braking feel is wonderful on this. Then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, hydraulic shock absorbers as well. And as far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine. Definitely not having any issues in my short test drive here today. Hagerstown's got some very nice roads though, but having said that, ride quality has been perfectly fine. As far as cabin noise goes, maybe get a little bit of road noise, but it's really not all that bad. I have the air on too, but road noise is just so-so. Definitely no wind noise though, so that is definitely on point. As far as steering feel goes, I would say it leans on the heavier side of things. I like the steering feel. It's not quite as heavy as the Tesla Model Y. I think I definitely prefer that, but having said that, steering feel is perfectly fine. Touching of visibility, that is definitely not the C40 strong suit. You got to think of the design. This is essentially an XC40, but but in fast back form. So there isn't a whole lot of rear visibility whatsoever, if I'm being completely honest. But I will say rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard. So that's gonna assist with visibility a little bit. But anyways, that about rounds off the performance segment of this review, you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Volvo C40. All right, and so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Volvo C40 finished in, I am gonna butcher the heck out of this for you guys' entertainment, Fajord Blue. It's a $695 paint option if you wanted to go that route. But let's go ahead and start up front on the C40 here. Body colored front grille, of course, if you want to even consider that a front grille, because obviously with electric cars, you don't need a front grille. To the sides, LED headlights do come standard, of course, with high pressure cleaning. I love that. This is such a cool feature. Check this out. The nozzles actually pop out of the front bumper. That's what that little cutout is just below the headlight. That's going to be your headlight cleaners. That's pretty cool. It's high pressure cleaning. Anyways, LED Thor's hammered daytime running lights coming standard in typical Volvo fashion. Of course, automatic feature as well, along with automatic high beams, meaning when you got your high beams on, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to bump them right back up to high beams for you. So just one last thing you got to worry about there. And just below, you do have fog lights, but with 
the cornering function as well, meaning when you're going around the bend at night, those fog lights will swivel based on the direction of your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend. So that is pretty cool as well, but definitely a very Volvo-ish looking front end without a doubt, but looks like the XC40. Uh, from the front end, it looks exactly like an XC40. But anyways, pretty much rounds out the front. Let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, black window surrounds do come standard and there is a black or gloss black roof essentially you guys can see that even the a pillar continuing all the way back through the c pillar there it's all gloss black so definitely a cool look there rear privacy glass of course does come standard as well when it comes to those side mirrors again they are gloss black they are power adjustable they are heated and they do get led integrated turn signals then as well which is pretty cool now as far as that little sticker goes above the uh charging port there that is obviously going to come off unless i guess the owner wants to keep it on there but the dealership of course just put it on there to let you know this is all electric vehicle take a look down at the wheel setup 20 inch five spoke graphite diamond cut alloys come standard and they look dang good so i do like that but anyways pretty much rounds out the side of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back of the c40 gloss black upper and lower rear spoilers you guys can see that there's actually two sets of rear spoilers i think it's pretty cool you got the gloss black shark fin and 10 all the way to the top of course volvo lettering spelled out horizontally you got the recharge badging on the back end as volvo calls all of their electric vehicles as they put it under the recharge badging i guess you could say when it comes to those tail lights there are led c-shaped tail lights so leds definitely a nice design to them as well and typically at this point i do an exhaust clip but so since there is no exhaust clip to be had what do you guys say let's just go ahead and make our way to the inside of the c40 all right so now since we are around to the back of the c40 when it comes to opening that rear tailgate it is a power tailgate that does come standard of course there's a button on the key fob there's a button on the tailgate itself and it's actually hands free as well you just simply kick your left foot underneath the back of it or i guess you can kick your right foot as well but it is on the left side there that you want to kick underneath and then it's going to automatically open up for you once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 14.6 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, of course, that rear seat does fold down, bumping it up to 42.6 cubic feet. There is a stainless steel tailgate scuff plate back there, which is pretty cool. There's cargo lighting, of course. There's a removable floor with grocery bag holders. And so essentially the cargo floor kind of just folds up and then you can hang your grocery bags there. There's also grocery bag hooks on the sides as well. I wanted to mention there's some tie down anchors, a little bit of in-floor storage for the charge hardware i guess you could say so did want to also mention there is a rear cargo cover that comes standard back there then as well but then making our way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 36.1 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back seats there rear ventilation does come standard there is a rear center armrest with cup holders there's a couple phone charging ports back there and heated rear seats actually come standard as well which i absolutely love seeing then make our way to the front seats power adjustable front seats with power lumbar coming standard manual cushion extensions for both driver and passenger i absolutely love that that definitely made things more comfortable heated front seats do come standard and as far as the finish goes it's like a combination of some kind of a suede and some kind of synthetic material and by the way everything is renewable wool fibers there's actually no leather inside the c40 whatsoever which is kind of cool and i'll get more into that when we get to interior quality also one of course mentioned in typical volvo fashion you got the flag of sweden found on the passenger side seat there as well but overall seating was actually plenty comfortable the lumbar adjustment worked good so definitely no issues there then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is non-leather wraps some kind of synthetic material kind of feels like leather to be honest it's definitely not a urethane feel so it feels like leather but it's not leather i'll just put it that way and the 10 and 2 grips are definitely on the beefier side which i personally appreciate as well then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your volvo logo on the one side and then all of your buttons are actually on the side of the key you got lock unlock and the button to pop the rear tailgate but it is all keyless entry with a push button start and there's actually a volvo cars app for remote start and heating and cooling the vehicle before you actually get inside if you wanted to go that route but but so essentially it is all keyless entry there's actually no push button start this is one of those where you simply just sit down with the key in your presence and then it's going to automatically 
turn on for you essentially. Did want to also mention there is a Volvo Cars app for a remote start and heating and cooling before you actually get inside then as well. But once started up, there is a 12 inch digital gauge cluster that comes standard. Speedometer to your left, tachometer is on your right and it is definitely a very clean look without a doubt. It also has the speed limit indicator, how much charge you have left at any given time. Of course, trip A, trip B, outside temperature. The list goes on. When gauges are digital, you really can customize them however you want. So it's definitely a nice look to it. Then touching on overall interior quality, this is where it really gets good. You do have this tinted panoramic moonroof that goes all the way into the back and it's one piece. It's not a dual pane panoramic roof or anything like that, which I actually love. It gives it that higher end feel to it. You also have this synthetic material on the headliner and I love this as well. It's a different feel to it. It doesn't feel like any other headliner that I'm typically used to feeling, but I will say Volvo has done this before, I think, and I like it. I personally like it. I like the design just above the passenger side glove box as well. Another texturized finished. I'm not sure what the story is behind it, but I do like it. And that continues on to the doors as well. But one of the coolest features about the new C40 is there's actually a folding bag hook that pops out of the glove box. If you were to open up this glove box, there's actually a folding bag hook. You just simply fold it out and then you close the glove box again. And then you have this hook there. If you wanted to use that to hang something up there, let's say you're driving and you didn't want something in that bag sliding around on the floor or on the seat, you got that hook there if you needed it. I absolutely love that idea. I've never seen that before in the last 600 plus cars I've checked out and I think that's brilliant. Another cool little feature with the C40 is there's actually a removable trash bin with lid just in front of the center armrest. So I actually threw a little piece of plastic in there to demonstrate for you guys that is actually a trash bin. So I really like that. And of course the center armrest is right behind that but who puts a trash bin in their vehicles that's brilliant especially in suvs especially when you got kids in the back that's an absolutely wonderful idea looking down at the door sills you do have recharge aluminum door sills which is pretty cool there's a wireless phone charger just in front of the shifter surrounding that some rubberized storage to the right of the shifter you got dual cup holders of course you do also have a frameless rear view mirror with home light controls throughout the three different garage doors but i think my favorite part of the interior obviously is not just the little indentation storage by the driver's side right knee here. I didn't even see that, but the blue interior, this is a throwback. This is something Volvo has done for quite a while and something they've done eighties or nineties or whatever. And I think I actually saw a Volvo on the lot with this. So I'll show it to you guys. If I actually have the shot here, but the blue interior is so stinking cool. I absolutely love it. You guys got to agree with me. Let me know in the comment section if you're into it. So I was personally definitely a big fan, but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. Nine inch color touchscreen display does come standard. And of course is powered by Google. So you just say, Hey Google. And then it does whatever you want it to do. Basically see, I'm telling you. Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. You can adjust your climate control settings up there. You can adjust your heated seats up there as well. And of course, you got your radio information as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, we do have a Harman Kardon sound system that comes standard. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> bad plenty of bass plenty of clarity that was just a good sound system for the c40 without a doubt last thing i want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the c40 in reverse you will find an extremely high definition rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so i will say to start the c40 is not yet tested by iihs but having said that every single other volvo and volvo's lineup right now is an iihs top safety pick plus which if I were to put money on it, I would definitely say this is going to be the exact same thing for that reason alone. Front side side current airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, lane keep assist, oncoming lane mitigation, road sign information, park assist, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, and pilot assist then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the brand new C40, this thing is insanely quick. It has a great design. The digital gauges are absolutely wonderful. I love the blue interior and the overall interior quality really in general. As far as room for improvement goes, obviously the visibility simply due to its shape, you're not gonna have the very best visibility out there. If you want a better visibility, go with the XC40 maybe, or the XC40 recharge perhaps. Then as far as electric cars go, the driving range is just kind of average or par for the course. Multicolor ambient lighting I think would be pretty darn cool in this thing then as well. But overall, let me know what 
you guys think of the new C40 in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.